Hello folks. Well, I said I would do one more uh, video talking about videos. Here comes a surprise for you. I have no more code to offer, no more teaching, at least as far as videos go. I can tell you that I've spent a lot of time, maybe about two and a half hours today, playing around with different ways to have the uploader connected to the lesson model, you know. So, Originally, the idea was to build an uploader thing and then have an after hook in that updated the database table and all of that. Now, I actually built that. However, for reasons that are incredibly complicated, I came to the conclusion that that was not the best solution. And in fact, if you had an admin panel for something like this, my recommendation would be have a section where you upload videos just on its own and you would just upload as many videos as you want. Now we can do that. We have the container, everything is cool. And then after the videos have been uploaded, you would have a second section, which would be where all of the lessons are. And I would probably just have a drop down menu there where you can select from one of the videos that have already been uploaded. Anyway, that's what I would do, and the good news is that does not require any extra work on our part. So just to state the obvious and clarify how this thing works, the idea is we would use loopback to upload the videos and whatnot, to uh, do all crud on the lessons, and then when a person who is viewing one of the video pages is on that page, Loopback would do a call that would figure out what the CloudFront URL is. It would also, of course, figure out the title of the lesson and that kind of thing. Then that would then be sent back from Loopback. We would then plug those details onto a web page so we'd be able to chuck in the headline, the description and all of that and the CloudFront URL, of course. That would go into a video player. There are many that you can choose from. Some are free, some are uh, not free. But that would go into a video player and everything would be just fine. So that's how it works and now you know. Now, by the way, just to mess with your mind a little bit before we go, I am open to the idea of using a different uploader. I've been doing a little bit of searching around and there are some other uploaders available which are nothing to do with loopback and all I'm saying is that I am kind of open to the idea of not using loopback's uploader. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not going to go into that and you don't even need to remember what I said there. It's absolutely fine, I'm just sharing that thought, you know. So, that's us finished with all the video stuff. Now, it's just on to the home straight. Everything's going to be nice and easy and we'll wrap this whole series up, okay? I'll see you soon.